it's the 11th of June 2019 and we've just got some replica skulls delivered again and on the left here we have a Homo erectus georgicus. This um, is a replica but it's of the Dimenesi three skull that was found in Georgia. Uh, Georgia is to the north east of Turkey. This um, Dimenesi three skull uh, has uh, these pronounced brow ridges similar to the Homo heidelbergensis and um, and also the Neanderthals as well in some way. The skull has been dated back to 1.8 million years ago. The brain capacity uh, of the Dimenesi three skull is about 650 cubic centimetres. Um, with Homo erectus, they lived from maybe 1.8 uh, million years ago up until maybe as late as 70,000 years ago. Um, there has been a skull found in Java, I think, from about 75,000 years ago. And the later ones had larger skull capacities, up to about 1,100 cubic centimetres. Uh, this particular skull is of a sort of juvenile or adolescent, um, they think it's about 13 to 15 years in age that the individual was. Uh, it's one of the best preserved skulls of Homo erectus. Homo erectus probably um, arose in Africa and then moved out into Asia. The uh, Here next to the Dimenesi three skull We've got a hand axe, it's an Acheulean hand axe, and this one is from Morocco, actually sorry, Mauritania uh, in Africa. The, these hand axes, uh, they began to be made by Homo erectus possibly 1.7 million years ago, and they were kind of a, a useful tool. They may have even been currency they may have you know, traded the hand axes between themselves as well. So uh, that's an Acheulean hand axe uh, from a Homo erectus. Whether the um, Homo erectus georgicus in Georgia, in uh, the, you know, around the area of Dimenesi, used these tools, or they may have used other tools, uh, over here on the right, we have an Af uh, it's a Australopithecus africanus replica skull. Now this one is named Mrs. Pies. Um, the one, the skull on the right, was found in um, a place called Sturkfontein, about forty kilometres north um, north of Johannesburg in South Africa. And the Australopithecus had smaller brain capacities than the Homo erectus. Uh, Mrs. Pies here, uh, she was called Mrs. Pies because initially the person that uh, found the skull uh, named the species Pisianthropus transvalensis, which means near man from the Transvaal. Um, as it turns out, um, um, the people working with the person that found the skull uh, nicknamed her Mrs. Pies. She is actually a female, a middle-aged female, of the Australopithecus africanus. Uh, this skull would date to about two million years ago. Uh, next to the Australopithecus africanus is a, another hand tool. Uh, this one is probably about 1.8 million years or so but it could be as late as 800,000 years ago. Uh, this stone tool is interesting in that it was formed by hitting the stone three times, once there, once there, once there, to make three cutting edges. When it was done, the, uh, a bit broke off from underneath, but it was probably still a functional tool for cutting um, presumably bits of vegetation or things that they couldn't pull apart. Um, the, whether this tool here uh, it was probably made by a Homo erectus, not 
uh, Australopithecus. But Australopithecus is from a particular species called Australopithecus gahi have been shown to use stone tools. Even chimpanzees as well have been shown to use or known to use stones to um, crack open nuts or other things like that. And sometimes when the chimpanzees bash the rocks against other rocks it ends up chipping the rocks and then the the uh, stone becomes much more useful. So it could well be that the uh, Australopithecuses did use stones around them or even fashioned tools as well. So those are two of the skulls that we've received um, through the post and a couple more uh, stone tools as well. Hopefully we'll do some more specific videos about each particular skull and some of the tools as well.